Hey guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a short review of Logitech Lift Mouse which is a new ergonomic wireless mouse released by Logitech around two weeks ago and as you can see on the box here it has this unusual shape that you will hold it like this and this should help not to strain our wrist as much as with standard mouse so we will see if that's true and if it's comfortable to use but before we start some basic information about the mouse itself so as you can see on the box, the mouse work with both Windows and Mac OS. You can connect it to your laptop with Bluetooth or standard USB dongle. It has 24 month battery life, silent clicks and programmable buttons. So you can assign your favorite shortcuts to the buttons, which should make it even easier to use. So let's open the box and see how the mouse looks. So of course we have some short manual inside. And then the mouse itself with some quick start guide on how to connect it to a laptop. And here is the mouse. As you can see, it has quite unusual shape. Feels pretty good in hand. On the bottom we have a on-off button, button to switch between devices, and a place for batteries, which is very easy to open just with a click here. And as you can see, there is already battery provided, which is nice, and we have the USB dongle here, as mentioned. Very like this magnetic battery cover. So as you can see the mouse looks quite interesting. It has a rubber finish here prevent our hand from slipping. I have the standard white color but there is also pink and black available and if I'm correct there are three sizes available for small hands, medium hands and large hands and there is also a version for left-handed people so I think everyone can find one for themselves. The clicks are pretty quiet, not sure if you can hear it. The scroll also quiet and very convenient to use with a rubber finish. And we have two sides buttons, which by default I think go back and forward. And also a button to change DPI. So the mouse is quite comfortable to hold, it's much lighter than it seems, glides very easily on the desk and as I mentioned it's quite comfortable to hold although it might take some time to get used to it because it is a bit unusual shape if someone didn't use a vertical mouse before and to be honest I didn't. I'm using a different Logitech on a daily basis so it feels kind of familiar even though the shape is completely different. Scroll works very nicely and also the buttons forward and back I have quite long fingers so I think even a bigger one would be a better fit for me because this one is I think for small and medium hands and as you can see my fingers are reaching a bit far so probably I should have a bigger size but still even with this one it is quite comfortable and easy to use and even after using it for several minutes, it already feels much more natural, so I guess it's just... You just have to get used to it. 
as I mentioned before, the design is of course supposed to help with not straining our wrist that much, so for sure in the long run you would appreciate the vertical design. Here for comparison I have the standard M650 that I reviewed several weeks ago. This is the one that I'm using on a daily basis. As you can see it's quite similar in terms of color and the rubber finish. And both of these have multiple sizes and the same color options, so white, black and pink. So if you like Logitech mouses, you can pick standard or vertical, depending on what you want to try. Logitech Lift is available for around $80, I will leave the link in the description below. And that's all for me guys, please let me know in the comments what do you think about vertical mouses in general. And if you liked my channel then please subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.